everyone. Welcome to Hopeful Turns. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the pattern for a mini crochet pouch. Now you can use this pouch as a coin pouch or as a pouch for your airports. Uh, you can even use it as a back charm. So it's a very versatile pouch pattern. You can customize it to any size that you want. So if you want this pouch to be a little bit bigger, wider, you can totally do that. I will walk you through all the steps that is required to make the pouch of the size that you are looking for. So let's see the supplies first and then we'll start with the pattern. Now for the supplies here, you can use any weight yarn or any type yarn you have at hand. I have used 100% acrylic yarn. It's a medium 4 weight yarn. And with that, I have used a 4.5 mm crochet hook. I have used one hook size smaller than the recommended one because I wanted the stitches to be a little bit tighter so that this entire pouch is a bit stiff. So I have used a smaller hook size than the recommended one. Apart from that, you would require a pair of scissors, a yarn needle to weave in all the loose ends and two stitch markers. Now, instead of stitch markers, you can use bobby pins or safety pins. So these are the supplies that you would require. Now, if you're looking for other crochet bag patterns or pouches, I do have quite a few on my channel. So I have put a playlist link in the description box. If you're interested, do check that out. And if you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. And if at any point in the video you like what you see, please do not forget to press on the like button. So let's get into the tutorial. So we'll start this pattern with a slip knot. So make your slip knot first. And once you have that, I'm going to make 12 chain stitch. Chain 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. Okay, so here I'm going to start with 12 chain stitch and this will be the width of the pouch. Now if you're looking for a much wider pouch, you can increase the number of chain stitch. Alright, so once you're done with your chain stitch, we'll start round 1. And for round 1, we are going to skip the very first chain stitch and make a single crochet into the second stitch from the hook. So make a single crochet into the second stitch from the hook and if you are a beginner please mark the first stitch if you are not a beginner you can identify the first stitch no need to mark it but i'm just marking it just so that there is no confusion so i have marked the first stitch now i'm going to go ahead and put a single crochet till i reach the very last stitch so keep making a single crochet till you reach the very last stitch so i'm just going to make one single crochet in every stitch so here I have reached the very last stitch I have put one single crochet in rest of the stitches so if I have to start from this stitch marker I have put a total of 10 single crochet so far now, when you reach the very last stitch, you will be putting three single crochet. So even if you have a bigger or longer chain stitch, into the very last stitch, put three single crochet. So I'm putting three single crochet. This is one in the same stitch, the second one and one more. So I have put three single crochet all in the last stitch. Now, you can mark the first stitch. So you see you have one, two, three. We have put three stitches. So mark the very first stitch also. Now, as I said, if you are a beginner, you mark it. If you are not a beginner, no need to mark. You can easily find it out when you look properly. So try to mark your stitch if you are a beginner. So see, we have put three stitches here. So I've marked the very first stitch. So this is one, two, three. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one single crochet in the opposite side. So we'll do that. So this is done. This here is the next stitch. You have a small line kind of a thing here. Just insert your hook. I'm going to take this yarn end along with me when I'm making a single crochet. So I'm just going to work my way down making one single crochet in all of these stitches. So that single crochet will lie directly opposite to the single crochet on the other side. So you have to just do this till you reach your very first stitch so in the very first stitch 
is the single crochet that we have marked so I'm just going to go ahead and make the single crochets here So here I have worked up one single crochet in the opposite side also. So this three are the these three single crochet goes in the very last stitch. And after that, if I have to count, I have put nine single crochet. Now I have reached the very first stitch. So very first stitch is where this is going. So that is here, this point. So into the very first stitch, I'm going to put two single crochet. So make two single crochet into the very first stitch of this round like this now you can take your stitch marker out and in that place you can slip stitch so that will complete round one so this is how your round one will be so basically what we have done is we have put three single crochet in the very first stitch and three single crochet in the very last stitch so irrespective of your chain stitch number you will put three single crochet in the very first stitch, three single crochet in the very last stitch and one single crochet on either side of your chain stitch. So that is how your um, round one will be. And round one will have double the number of single crochet as your chain stitch. So I had started with 12 uh, chain stitch and once you finish round one, you should have 24 single crochet. It should be double. So let's start round two. Now I'll explain round two. So what we are going to do is if you see here these are the three chain stitch uh, three single crochet that we had put in the last stitch so in these three single crochet we will make an increase so we'll put two single crochet here two single crochet here and two single crochet here in rest all of these stitches we are going to put one single crochet only and also here so this is the first stitch this is the second stitch and this is the third stitch so in the first uh, stitch also we have put three single crochet in each of these three single crochet we are going to put uh, an increase that is we'll be putting two single crochet so let's start so we'll start with one chain stitch and this will not be counted as any stitch and into the very first stitch, same stitch I'm going to make start with an increase so I'll put two single crochet here one and one more Two. So I'm going to start with an increase and I'll just mark the stitch here. So this will be where we have to end. All right. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one single crochet in each of these stitches till I reach my stitch marker. So I'll do that. So I'm going to go ahead and make one single crochet in each of these stitches till I reach the stitch marker. So here I have put one single crochet and now I have reached my stitch marker. So from this point, uh, not counting the increases, after that I have put nine single crochet. So I have an increase here that I'm not counting. After that I have put nine single crochet. That might change if you are starting with some other number. Once you reach your stitch marker, take this out and in the next three stitches put an increase. That is put Two single crochet in the next three stitches so this is one in the same stitch another one so I have put two here in the second stitch also I'm going to put two single crochet one two and in the third stitch also I'm going to put two single crochet one two all right next what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one single crochet uh, till I have last two stitches left so again I'm going to make nine single crochets and then I'll reach the last then I'll reach second then there will be only uh, two stitches left so I'm going to make nine single crochets here So here I have put nine single crochet again I have the last two stitches left so 
into the last two stitches I'm again making an increase so I'm going to put two stitches so one two so this was the second last stitch and this here is the very last stitch so here again I'm going to put two single crochet like this so this is the end of round two this is your chain one you just ignore that just take off your stitch marker and go right into the first stitch and slip stitch so that will finish round two now once you finish round two uh, you should have a total of 30 single crochet now if you're starting with some other stitches round one will have uh, the double the single crochet as your starting chain stitch and round two you just have to add six more to it so for my case it was 24 single crochet in round one and plus six that is 30 single crochet in round two so that is how you can customize this pattern if at all you're making one so the base is done now we'll start moving up now what i'm going to do is from here the pattern is very simple you're just going to put one single crochet in every stitch so we'll start that so for this round only i'm just going to do chain one i'll go directly into the first stitch and make a single crochet and you can mark your stitch here the first stitch like this and go ahead and make a round of single crochet so i'm just going to go ahead and make one single crochet in all of these stitches there are no more increases from here on i'm just going to put one single crochet and once you complete round three you should have a total of 30 single crochet so i'll complete this round so here i'm at the end of round three i have put one single crochet in all of these stitches and i have now 30 single crochet and if you see here it has started to fold up so i'll just keep it like this okay now from round four all the way up to round nine it is a repeat of round three we are just going to make one single crochet in every stitch so i'll just take the stitch marker out and i'll slip stitch now make sure that the stitch number is correct don't go ahead and put one more single crochet here this here is your chain one so if you see here this has already been taken care of so please don't put any single crochet there otherwise it will just go white so i'm just going to take this off and i'm going directly here into the first stitch and slip stitch so that is the end of round three all right now we'll repeat round three up till round nine so all the rounds from here we are going to start with one chain stitch and make one single crochet in all of the stitches and every round at least for my number it is going to be 30 single crochet so if you started with some other chain stitch number it might change so just take care of that so here i'm at the end of round nine and this is the height that i'm looking for so i've put my airport inside this and it perfectly fits inside uh, so if you are looking for making a bigger pouch you can just go ahead and add more rounds to it uh, till you're happy with the height after this there are three more rounds the next round is where we'll be making gaps so as to pass the drawstring and after that two more rounds so as i said if you want to make a bigger pouch add more rounds and when you're ready we can start the next round which will be round 10 so for that i'm going to start with four chain stitch chain four one two three four and what i'm going to do is this is the stitch here i'm going to skip the next stitch and then the stitch after that i'm going to make a double crochet so skip one stitch and make a double crochet into the next stitch like this after that make one chain stitch skip one stitch and into the next make a double crochet so i'm going to skip one stitch and make a double crochet into the next stitch so this is the pattern for this round you make chain one you make chain one you skip one stitch and make a double crochet into the next stitch so skip one chain one and a double crochet is the pattern for this round and you'll get this kind of gaps so i've made a double crochet you chain one you skip one stitch and then make a double crochet like that you can just go ahead and repeat the pattern and i'll join you at the end of this round you make you chain one you skip one and make a double crochet all right so this is how it is so here i have completed round 10 
uh, this was my very last double crochet after that there is one stitch that needs to be skipped so after you make your last double crochet you chain one you skip the stitch here and then you're going to slip stitch into the third chain of the starting chain four so you find the third chain so this is one two three so this is your third chain you go there and slip stitch so that will finish off this round like this and here I'm going to cut my yarn and I'm going to change my yarn if you're not planning to change your yarn uh, change the color you can just go ahead and repeat what I'm going to show in the next round but I'm going to change my color here so I'll just cut my yarn off and then start with the next color so that is the end of round 10 we will take the next color and start round 11 so for round 11 I'm going to use my white color yarn I'll again start with a slip knot and I'm going to attach it to this piece here you can attach anywhere but I'm just going to start right here just one stitch before your stitch where you have cut it's not necessary that you should be doing this that's totally up to you if you want you can do that okay and I'm going to pull my yarn through this like so chain one and in the same stitch I'm going to make a single crochet I'm going to make a single crochet into the chain one gap I'll make a single crochet on top of this double crochet so find your space here and make a single crochet here into the chain one space again I'm going to make a single crochet so the pattern here is you're going to make a single crochet on top of these bars which is the double crochet and a single crochet in the chain one space so one single crochet will go here one single crochet will go in the chain one space and one single crochet will go in the next double crochet so let's do that and I'm just going to take these yarn ends along with me when I'm making my single crochet so it's just going to be a single crochet row so if you see this is your double crochet so make one single crochet on top of that into the chain one gap again make a single crochet into the next double crochet again make a single crochet like that you can just go ahead and repeat the pattern making a row or a round of single crochet so here I'm at the end of round 11. I have just put a round of single crochet. So this was my very last single crochet. And in order to finish off this round, I'm going to slip stitch into the first single crochet. If you see here, this is your chain one. Just skip that. Find the first single crochet of this round and slip stitch. So that will complete round 11. Now we have just one last round left. And in that, I'm just going to make one single crochet in each of these stitches. All right. It's a very simple round. Start with chain one into the same stitch, make a single crochet and go around this, making one single crochet in each of these stitches. So I'll just complete this round. So here I have completed round 12. I have put one single crochet in every stitch and you should have a total of 30 single crochet now in order to finish this just skip the first starting chain one find the first single crochet of this round and slip stitch so that will finish round 12 and i'm going to cut my yarn here so the pouch is done now all you have to do is to hide in the loose ends so I'm just going to use a darning needle and hide in the loose ends and then we'll make the strings. So here I have hidden in all the loose ends and our pouch is ready. Now for the drawstring here, I have made a long chain stitch. So what I have done is I have put a slip knot and then made about 85 chain stitch. So this is what is going to be our drawstring. Uh, and I'm just attached a yarn needle here and I'm going to pull this string across the gap round all right you can use your fingers uh, with this but i prefer this one it works faster now this drawstring bag here or the pouch here is more like a back charm so that is why the way the drawstrings are placed is a little bit different uh, but if you're looking for a drawstring that opens and closes from the sides i have a tutorial on that as well so i'll put the link for that tutorial in the description box so here the drawstring is placed a little bit differently 
okay so I have gone around this but I'm just going to go once through this as well so that I'm going to make a small bow so I want the bow to be at the very center I think my yarn got split so I'm just pulling it like so I'll take this off now I want to make a back jump so I'm going to pull this out so what I'll do is I'll just loosen it so that I have some string here so this I'm going to make as a small bow so just adjust it so this is where your bag will be hung uh, the pouch will be hung on the bag this loop and here with these two ends I'm going to make a small bow so make a small bow here I just need to this up it's a bit of a mess so here I have tidied up the bow and also cut up the excess yarn that was hanging so you can use this particular loop here to close this and you can just pull on this to open this up so yeah that was a tutorial on how to do this simple crochet pouch i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed making it now if you liked it please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing if you're looking for other crochet pouches bags all of that i have put a playlist link in the description box as well as on the end screen that is coming up so that's it for today's tutorial see you in another video until then bye bye thank you for watching